All right. We had a lot of questions about CW. So, Brian, if you'll go ahead and roll the CW. And that was, how do you make a CW key out of a clothespin? Well, first of all, you got to do a small clothespin, not the big fat ones, or else you'll be in trouble, and you'll see why. Uh, you need to nail down that clothespin as a CW key so it doesn't jump around. And we do a flathead kneel in the bottom of it because that's going to act as one of the contacts. So we first pound in the nose and uh, we tap it down. You have to be uh, drilling it ahead of time or else you'll split uh, that uh, clothespin. And this is going to be a, a neat little keyer. And uh, some of the clothespins, the older ones, are really hard wood. And you can see how we've got it there. And that is sort of the keen swing adjustment. There's no contact between the uh, dots and dashes there. Now we got to go for the other end. So we take out the trusty drill. And uh, we drill away. And we um, have a nice little hole there. That's actually too far uh, in toward the spring, as you'll see. It's going to be a little hard to get things connected just right. Take that... Um, that nail and put a little lug on it because that's going to be one of the contacts we're going to interrupt off the battery and uh, pound that nail. Oh, oh, God. Well, you ruined that one. You killed the finger. You killed the keyer. So start over again. I told you to drill the hole out fairly large. All right, let's try that again. Here's a new one. I uh, got the uh, terminal on there. And, um, now we go for the adjustment. That's a little too far apart. So we'll tighten it up a little bit more. Yeah, now we got it. And you can use that screw on the other end. Okay, we add the wires to those two terminals. If you look carefully, a uh, little bit of blood on there, but you'll see that the uh, keyer is all set to go. And there is your inexpensive clothespin keyer. And uh, you just take a little button, any kind of button will do, and stick it on the end. And that way, uh, kids will have a good time. Now, the problem with the big, fat uh, clothespins is you can't get this little tack over it. The reason we have the tack on the very end is because the keyer sort of wobbles back and forth. You don't want wobble. So make sure that, as you see, the dark brown is too wide. That's an old-fashioned one. So now they've cheaped out cutting back on wood, so the new pins make that clothespin to work out great. Now, here's one type of sounder, and this is no good. It's a buzzer. No, you don't want a buzzer. So can the buzzer and go for the piezoelectric. Hear how sharp that is? The buzzer will develop bad habits. And the little PCO comes uh, from OBO, and it's model 35 Charlie 2. So that's it for uh, making up your little keyer. And when completed, they probably won't make it through uh, TSA. And again, watch out for this one here because it's too fat. This one is just right because now we can get the little clip over there. And let me tell you, you can do some quick code with it. So build a keyer, get kids to build a keyer, and I think it'll be a fun project. Everybody loves the code, so there you go.